be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell and hit the like button. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today's Ninja, Ninja Squad shout out goes to Jacqueline and Layla. Thank you so much guys for commenting below and if you want the chance to be featured in my next video then you definitely should comment down below. It can be absolutely anything. The products I'll be using today are Grape Pot, Lilac Sparkle, which is a glitter infused powder. Lilac Rose, which is a pastel lilac acrylic powder. I'll also be pairing that with the Flatback Crystal AB. These crystals are from my website. They are super affordable and gorgeous. I'll be topping everything off with super gloss and I'll also be featuring the new Ombre Butterfly stickers. These stickers are available the 16th of November. I'll also be using the Micro Crystals and the number 12 Rainbow Aqua Brush. To peel the stickers off, I will be using the tweezers because my nails are long at the moment and it's impossible without them. I'll also be using the instant nail glue to apply the crystals. So I've already gone ahead and applied the pointed almond nail tips to my practice hand. And by the way guys, practice hands are back in stock. So if you are interested, then definitely check the link down below. I'm just applying Lilac Sparkle to the entire nail on this one and look how gorgeous it is, honestly. I live for these supercharged hollow glitter infused powders. They are stunning. Moving on to the next nail, I'm going to be doing a marble. I love doing marble nails. I think they make such a great feature and they just look super detailed and intricate. So I'm using Grape Pop Lilac Rose and I'm also going to add a touch of Lilac Sparkle because I really, really wanted that glitter to be running through it. I thought it would look stunning and boy was I right. It looked absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay my product onto the nail nice and wet and then I'm going to come in with the tip of my brush and just swirl that round to create a marble design. Moving on to the next nail, I'm going to go ahead and apply Lilac Rose to the free edge. I just wanted a nice subtle ombre because I was going to come in with the butterfly stickers on this nail. So like I said, I'm coming in with Lilac Rose and I'm just placing my bead down and then I'm going to gently maneuver that from side to side making sure it covers the full width of the nail and then I'm gently dragging and pulling that product down the nail so that it completely covers the free edge. I'm going to flip my brush backwards and just blend it upwards because when creating an ombre you want to make sure that there's no harsh line. I'm then coming in with pure pink and this bead is a medium to large bead and I didn't drain the liquid out of the back of the brush because I wanted it to be a little bit more translucent so that it gives us a nice seamless ombre. I'm then going to come in with the next bead and just build this up until we've got all the way to that cuticle area and the ombre blend is finished. If you haven't already, then definitely follow me on Instagram. I'm constantly uploading to my stories and to my grid as well. And I think you guys would find it fun if you aren't already following me because you get to see lots of behind the scenes and just stuff that I don't, of course, share on YouTube because it's pretty limited here. Just saying. So now that I'm happy with my blend and my ombre, just so we know, FYI, Nailmate products are beautiful for ombre blends, honestly. I wanted them to be absolutely amazing when blending and easily manageable, and I think we've been able to achieve that. Those of, the, you, those of you that have tried them, hopefully you agree. 
Um, but yeah, I absolutely love our products. I know I'm biased, but hey, I've got to be, I guess. <laughs> Um, so I'm moving on to the next nail and I'm starting off with pure pink at that cuticle and I'm just blending it down nicely because I'm going to be coming in with lilac sparkle at the free edge and blending it upwards. So I'm basically just doing another ombre but instead of using the lilac rose I'm coming in with the glitter infused powder instead. Honestly, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I would wear a full set of lilac sparkle and pure pink because damn, she beautiful. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna be using the rainbow ombre stickers, which guys are available on the 16th of November. Definitely, definitely, definitely set your alarms because there's gonna be some stuff that you do not wanna miss. Um, I'm just choosing a couple of the lilac and the lilac and blue one just to apply to this ombre nail because, you know, I thought it looked cute, it matched perfectly and I just love butterflies. I mean, who the heck doesn't? I mean, I actually hate butterflies in real life, just in case anyone got it twisted. They petrify me, <laughs> but I think they look cute on designs, not in real life. Hopefully that makes sense. That's one thing that I am scared of. Moths and butterflies. No, thank you. Okay, so now that I've applied those and made sure they are pressed down nicely, I just came in with a slightly damp brush with Monomer and just washed over them. And then I'm coming in with a Nail Mate Crystal Clear. And I'm just going to go ahead and cap this nail and then go ahead and encapsulate the rest of the nails. And then we can move on to the fun part. I mean, all of it's fun, but you know, the top coating. You know what I'm talking about? It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so whilst I'm capping, I just sit here and chat with you guys. Let me know what you've been up to. Have you been able to go out? What's it like where you are? Obviously everyone's in different stages of lockdowns and like restrictions. Do you agree with them? Do you not agree? Like, I feel like the world is in a washing machine at the minute and it's like everything is just spinning around and around, spiraling out of control. And then I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think anybody does. Um, so I like to just focus on doing nails and creating. I think that's my happy place. And I think if you can bring yourself to your happy place, you can just kind of ride the wave until we can come out on the other side and life can be as it once was. Anyway, enough of that. I only like to touch on it briefly just so I can you know, check in with you guys. If anyone is struggling, on a serious note though, do DM me. I'm here to chat and talk and hopefully support you if you need it. It might not be much, but at least it's something. Okay, so I'm moving on to the butterfly nails. I have, you know, filed and buffed everything, removed the dust, and I'm just embellishing the, the stickers. Just because you've applied a sticker doesn't mean you have to leave it just as it is. Why not go a step further? So as you can see, I'm just adding some of the flat backs to the center and I'm gonna add some of the micro crystals for the little antennas and honestly, it took them up a level, like damn. So once I've finished with the butterflies, I'm moving on to the next nail and I'm going to do a crystal cuticle cuff, a very minimal one this time. I'm just applying a large crystal to the center and two smaller ones to the outside. And I think this just looks so elegant and just gives a nice touch of sparkle without being over the top. 
if you want to go over the top definitely do that though i think i just love bling but anyway i'm moving on to the pinky finger and i'm going to do a side cluster i'm just applying my instant nail glue which by the way is absolutely amazing at keeping crystals on they will last strong and long for the entire literal like two to four weeks depending when your clients return or when you you change your own nails i just love using instant nail glue it's absolutely the bomb I'm just going to apply those micro crystals between because I just love how they look between larger flat blacks. I think they just make it look so detailed and sparkly, like super sparkly. Next I'm coming in with super glass and we're top coating the entire set. Make sure when you're top coating your crystal nails that you go around them, not over the top of them. Um, if you go over the top you're just going to kind of dull that sparkle and the facets on the crystals will kind of blend into one and they won't have the light reflection that they once had so you definitely don't want to go over the top just go around them and obviously over the entire surface of the nail so yeah i'm going to apply my super gloss which is all of our favorite parts we love seeing the nails come alive and then I'm going to cure it in the lamp for a full 60 seconds, apply my cuticle oil, and then I'll share the final results. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I think this set is freaking stunning. Like get it on my nails right now please thank you bye <laughs> honestly i love it i hope you did it as well please give it a thumbs up if you didn't already and as always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and i love you Mwah. bye